Hey folks, coming at you today with a quick look at an MSI Leopard 11UH 15 inch gaming laptop. I'll give you some looks at the outside casing, go over the specs a little bit, and just kind of share some general likes and dislikes on this particular laptop here. All right, so let's take a look at the specs first here. Push in just a little bit tighter so you can get a better view here. And we'll pull up a few different screens there. So this one has the 11th gen Core i7, the 11800H clocking at 2.3 gigahertz. It does have 64 gigs of RAM, so that's pretty impressive there. And of course it's a 64-bit operating system, no surprise there. This one's running Windows 11 Home. And this one has a one terabyte SSD, a solid state drive in here. Let's get the device manager opened up here. So yeah, there you can see that nice one terabyte SSD. It's got the integrated Intel UHD graphics, but then this one has the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080. So that's pretty impressive. Pretty nice to have that on board. And I'll give you a look at the network connections there. If you're interested, you can pause it. And of course you see the processor with all the different threads and cores showing up there. Let's also take a look at the screen resolution. Uh, resolution. All right, so this one has a native resolution of 1920 by 1080. Again, it is a 15 inch display there. And the refresh rate on this one, I believe, is 240 hertz, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, yep, sure enough, 240 hertz. So that's pretty decent as well. Okay, so those are some of the basic specs there on the unit itself. And one dislike I'll just mention right off the bat while it's fresh on my mind is the mouse clicker on this particular unit. It has a very, very solid click to it. I'm not sure if you can hear that on video, but I mean, man, the travel and the push on that, I mean, it is extreme, very mechanical feeling. So I personally don't care for that. You know, maybe uh, you like that, having that mechanical feel to it. It's very loud. I think if I was using this particular laptop, I would just tap to click instead of pushing on the trackpad. I would just go a tap instead of the push. So just a personal preference there though. You can see that the keyboard is backlit and it is in a color changing mode right now. So if you watch it real carefully, you can see it's constantly changing and cycling, kind of like doing the wave of colors across the keyboard there. So that's pretty nice. And it looks like all the keys are backlit from what I can tell. All right, the screen is, by the way, at 100% brightness for those curious. So that gives you an idea. It's a pretty bright screen. I'd say it's not the brightest screen that we've ever you know, recorded here on YouTube, but it's still pretty bright overall. And this one does have the Core i7 sticker, the GeForce RTX sticker, and then it does say Steel Series. I forgot to mention that earlier up here. So it's part of the steel series. Well, let's take a look at the left side casing here. So you can see we've got some pretty decent ventilation here on this side. We've got a fast high-speed USB port, and then I believe that's a tri port for headphone and mic, but I could be mistaken. It doesn't, you know, it's got an icon there. It looks like it's got a headset on that icon, but I can't really tell as well. It's so tiny. And then I'm also noticing here, it does have a battery symbol here. So I'm not sure if that's a pinhole to reset the battery or, or what that is exactly. If you're watching this and you know what that is, definitely leave a comment below. And look what we've got here. We've got our famous trusty Kensington security port. You gotta have one of those so you can lock your laptop down. So that's pretty nice. And then it does have just a little bit of some little holes, almost like little perforations here. I would imagine for the speakers, if I'm not mistaken there. Then on the front, the bezel is pretty plain, pretty simple. It's got a little bit of some angles going down and then an, a sharper angle along the bottom there. So it's not very rounded. It's more kind of squared off. And then going to the right side here, we've got two more high-speed USB ports there and then some more ventilation there. You can see the cooling fins inside there. Very nice. And that is it. You got those same little dots there for, I believe, again, a speaker that's on the, the front corner there. And so you've got that on the front. Flip it around to the back side. 
Okay, so we've got a display port, a little mini display port right here. We've got Ethernet, HDMI, and this is the charging port. So it's one of those proprietary charging uh, tips there. I'll show you that here in just a minute. We've got some ventilation on both sides on the back here. And then I'll let you take a look at the top, kind of pushed out a little bit. So it's real simple, you know, nothing too glamorous. And of course it's got the MSI logo there and kind of a nice little design with the hinges down there to offset it a little bit there. All right, speaking of the charger, I'll show you what that tip looks like here. So it is some kind of proprietary tip that they went with there. Definitely would have to buy this from the manufacturer. I don't know if there's any aftermarket versions yet. It does have a fairly large power supply as well. I'll just pull that out real quick so you can see. This one is a, looks like a, looking for the wattage on it, 280 watts. There you go. Probably for that big graphics card it's got inside there. Let's take a look at the bottom. All right, so pretty pretty uh, good ventilation. It's got the cross. You can see it looks like a lot of copper kind of heat sinks and tubing in there for cooling. And then you got two nice fans embedded in there as well. And it looks like you've got the factor. So you can see this one's actually broken. So it means uh, the MSI warranty is perhaps void for that reason, but it's helpful to know. And then if you're curious on the specific model and configuration, if you want to pause it, you can zoom right here and see what that is. All right, it's got some pretty decent rubber uh, feet on the bottom to keep it raised up. So you definitely wanna keep this on a flat surface so it gets proper ventilation with all the fans and everything on the bottom, but it does have some nice tall feet on the bottom and then kind of in the middle here, some more rigid ones. So definitely a lot of, a lot of redundancy to make sure it's got proper ventilation there on the, the back there. But overall, that's really kind of my initial thoughts on this particular laptop. I will say that I do like the casing that the unit is made out of here, especially where your palms rest. It's a nice casing. You know, some laptops, they have to strike a balance between, you know, form and function and durability and comfort. And so this is a, it feels more like some kind of metal surface, probably some kind of alloy but it feels very nice on the hands, on the palms, and I think this would hold up pretty well. It appears to be some kind of painted finish as opposed to a plastic that maybe soaks in oils and you know, over time looks kind of grungy. So I do like the material that it's made out here on the palm rest. You can see it does show fingerprints you know, pretty good, but they'll wipe off really easily. Again, I think it's some kind of painted finish there. So, but yeah, I mean, I love the, uh, the bright screen on this one, the 240 hertz refresh rate. Obviously, that's really nice to have. And so, you know, it's just a kind of a real durable, compact gaming laptop, fairly thin there. And, you know, MSI's got a pretty good reputation, at least in my experience, uh, in terms of servicing their products and putting out something that's, you know, real solid. So I hope these close-up looks are helpful for those interested in this particular gaming laptop. For those who don't know, JBrokers is a risk-free secondhand marketplace. And so we buy and sell all sorts of items, just like this gaming laptop here. We have about 3,000 products on our website in our database where you can get an instant cash offer 24-7, night or day. So definitely check us out at jbrokers.com. If you've got something more unique like this gaming laptop or a guitar or something else like that, you're going to use the Get Personalized Offer option. You'll submit your information and then a representative will get back to you, usually the same business day, if not the very next day, with a no obligation, risk free cash offer. And two things that our customers love about J Brokers are number one, we always pay the agreed upon amount for the agreed upon item, always. There's no bait and switch gimmicks. And then secondly, we always send out payments on the next business day after receipt, rain or shine. So as always, thanks for watching, but definitely check us out at jbrokers.com. That's J A Y brokers.com.